compass meetings are about holding the Chief Constable to account in public so that the public can see that that happens and hear the answers that I hear on a regular and routine basis from the Chief Constable as I test that she is operationally effective, that she's efficient in the expenditure of public money and that she's responsive to the public's priorities. Hello and welcome to the next in a series of Compass meetings where the Chief Constable and I... It's really important that I can be the voice of the communities to the Chief Constable asking the questions that they would ask if they were in the room, understanding what their priorities are for the time being, what the issues are topically and there were some very good questions today as there often are in these Compass sessions and I believe that the public get really good answers in the voice of the Chief Constable to questions that they would like answered. Chief Constable, at our last Compass I gave you a challenge to consider and respond to some of the thematic concerns the public have, the first of which related to antisocial behaviour. Well, I was really glad for that uh, challenge last time, Commissioner, because as you know, we... No one can be in any doubt that policing is under pressure at the moment. And for the first time ever, um, Hampshire Constabulary have had to ask for mutual aid. Normally, Hampshire Constabulary is the force that provides support to others. It gives just one indication of the pressures we're under and therefore the need to test the Chief Constable that she has heard and understands the community's priorities, that she's delivering the most operationally effective policing to keep us all safer. We felt this summer um, has been extraordinary, not just in Hampshire, but, but across the UK. I mean, just in July of this year, we had 5,000 more 999 calls here in July. If anyone's got questions that they would like me to put to the Chief Constable, please let me know and I'll include them in the future Compass sessions. Thank you.